I have a lot of baby food on my shirt. <laughs> wow, you really do. But Let's does. just call out the elephant in the room. What is the elephant? Yes, friends, we do have a ring light on. Oh. You have seen two of the most embarrassing places in my house, the spice cabinet and my entry closet. Now you're about to see the bane of my existence, the thing that keeps me up at night, the Ooh. stressor of my life. Wow. Baby. Is that was that a little yeah. dramatic? No, that's for real. Okay. This is real okay. talk. Baby Wyatt's closet is in shambles. I, I'm just trying, you guys. Like, I have three kids, a cat, a dog, a husband. There's just not enough time. The problem with baby clothes is that if you just jam them all in a drawer in the closet like I do, I forget what's in there because they're just all piled up. He wears the same thing over and over yes. again. And then guess what? A week goes by, and now he's too big to wear that thing I loved. I actually think that this is going to change your life. I'm excited about it. Because when they start wiggling and stuff, like, no, you do not have a lot of time to be like, hmm, what are they going to wear today? No. No, you do not. Mm -hmm. So this cuts down on, it won't cut down on that but it's gonna cut down on all the other issues that come with dressing the baby or putting their clothes away. Love it. I love it. Okay, so step one, if you guys have been watching our other videos, you already know the answer to this. Take everything out. Everything out of the closet, everything out of the dresser, any baby stuff that's around the house, put it all in one place on the floor wherever you have a clear space, because we're gonna organize. Oh my God, what is even in here, girl? Huh? What is even in here? I mean, you tell me. Step two, we're gonna put everything into piles. So like with like, you're gonna wanna put all the clothes that are similar with each other. You're gonna wanna put toys with each other, extra things for your diaper bag with each other. You're going to basically make a ton of tiny piles so that you can see what you have. This is from all my sister's baby. Okay, so that. So this is sister stuff. Okay, what's this? This oh. is a boob cover. Yep. Do we need that? Um, you know what, no, I'm gonna put it with baby stuff because I don't care if my boobs show. Third kid problems. She doesn't. Whip a nipple out. She doesn't. For those of you who see me in public, sorry guys, get over it. Step three, this is where we start the weed out process. So we're gonna go through everything and figure out, are there some clothes in here that are just too small? Maybe there's some clothes that are just too difficult to put on, we're gonna get rid of those. Are there some clothes that are maybe too big and you're gonna use later? We're gonna store those in a better place so you can get them later on. Or maybe there's some toys that you really wanna donate. This is where we are gonna start taking that pile of things that we need to put back away and weeding it down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, see, that's why those hangers are the worst. That's not helping anyone. Could you die? Oh my God. I want that for myself. I have it for myself. You do? Yes. It's amazing. Step four, this is my favorite part because this is when we decide how we are going to organize and what we are going to use. So for this particular organizational project, we're gonna use drawer dividers, which for me end all be all in organizational products. We're also gonna use sweater shelves. We are gonna use velvet hangers, clear plastic bins, and a label maker, and a couple of extra baskets here and there depending on our needs. Closet is now empty, mm -hmm. and um, I carry two things. She was so helpful. <laughs> Step five, we're gonna put everything back based on frequency of use. So that means things that you're using every day. We're gonna put those front and center and store some of the other stuff further back. Shall we?
started by switching out the hangers for all the hanging clothes. I got rid of those plastic hangers and used these velvet hangers, which are non-slip, so nothing's gonna fall on the floor. There was a ton of stuff on the floor before, but now none of it is going to slide off. I also color-coded the clothes, and then I grouped them from winter to summer. Next, I repurposed a Billy bookcase from Ikea to use for some of the odds and ends, diapering things, and also a place to put the shoes. I think it's really cute when the hanging clothes are right directly over the shoes. It also gives you a little inspiration when you're dressing your kids. So the shoes are on the top. We've got some bibs, and she said she wanted her trash bags to be inside so she could change the diaper pail. Burp rags, extra diapers, and then a bunch of bins down below. Extra wipes, extra butt cream, possibly some medicine cabinet type items that she wants to put in there. Anything that she has in excess, she can store down there so that when she runs out, she knows exactly where to get it. Up here, we have three bins. This is gonna help Colette organize all the clothes from her older two boys and also things she wants to give back to friends that she may have borrowed or things she wants to then give to friends who have younger kids. So we have two big, two small clothes, and two small shoes or go back to other friends. Over here, I made a special place. Colette is putting a pool in her backyard so we know that she's going to be doing a lot of swimming with the boys. So we have one shelf that has all of the swimming stuff, bathing suits, diaper covers, rash guards, things of that nature, hats. Down below, we've got her lighter blankets that she uses when she's taking walks or if she just needs a blanket around the house for Wyatt. Rib sheets for his main crib in his room. These are bassinet crib sheets. On the very bottom, I found this really cute basket where she could store some of her heavier blankets. They like to take walks a lot at night. So this is where she can find much warmer blankets. A step stool if she needs to get to anything a little bit higher. And then, because we went through everything, and we made so much space just by organizing it, we actually were able to keep the older boys, Riker and Gray's, coats and suits and all the other things that she didn't have room for in their closets, we could keep them right here in Wyatt's closet. We also put his laundry hamper in here, his travel, pack and play, and then these empty bins are for whatever she realizes that she needs storage for as Wyatt gets older. Okay, now let's talk through the dresser organization. This one gets me really excited because it took me months and months to perfect my system for my son back at home. So it was really easy for me to just implement what I had already done for my little boy, for Colette's little boy, Wyatt. I just brought over a utensil organization system that I had from my home, it didn't fit. So I brought it over here, I gave it to Colette. This is where we have all of the things that she uses on a daily basis, but don't necessarily need to sit on the dresser. So I know she's using a lot of hats. I wanted to make sure and put these in the dresser next to the clothes so that when she's planning his outfit, it'll be really easy for her to pick which hat goes on top baby socks. I'd say these are the most frustrating things. What I use is just a regular sock or underwear organizer that you can get at the container store or Amazon or anything like that. I found that this really works. These are all of the onesies, the long sleeve shirts, the tank top. I organized it by long sleeve shirts then just white onesies and tank tops, both long sleeve and short, short sleeve onesies, and then tank top onesies, and just plain tank tops as well. Okay, this is the pants drawer, and this is probably my favorite because I have figured out that this is the easiest way to do it. So I filed these, rolled the sweats. These are more of the jeans or pants, dressier pants. These are leggings and really comfortable pants, and these are a couple of sweatshirts that she had. Okay, in this drawer, these are the outfits that are just an outfit in and of themselves. So we have a tank top romper, a short sleeve romper, a long sleeve romper, and then separates over here. And that's it. All right, so it's done. Colette, how do you feel about it? What's happening in your house? How do you feel about what's happening in your house? Forget the dresser. So many things are happening. So many boys. <laughs> So I feel really good about it. I think the main thing that I think is going to change is normally I will see something that I think is getting too small and just be like, oh, let it ride for a couple more months. I don't have the energy to even figure it out. So I think I'll be able to keep it a lot more organized and up to date. Yeah. So I think that this is going to help you tremendously. And I just feel very calm now coming in here. When you organize stuff, you just feel calmer. Well, also, let's just be real. Like, we don't have the same amount of time to put the clothes away that we used to. Like, at least now with this system, I can sit there with a laundry basket of just his clothes, 
put some toys on the floor, we can play together, and I can easily put everything away. Yeah. It's super easy, or my husband can get back up dressed as fast as I can, instead of just being like, where's his socks, where's his this, where's his that, like, everything, he knows exactly where everything is, he can even put the clothes away, so that's another benefit. Right, like that's gonna happen. Really get organized. Nice. All right, so we hope you guys like this video. You know, you can use this for yourself too. It just doesn't have to do with a baby. It can be around drawers, so get to it. Later. Okay. Let's drink. Okay. <laughs>